ho boardies, welcome to Borderline Games. I'm Gareth and we've got a special guest today. We've got Vicky from Plum, uh, Plum Bob Pancakes. Say hello. Hiya. Plum I should have put Bob on like Pancakes. a voice that was like, Hey gamers! Yeah, you should have. Yeah. Um. So, what do you do over on the Plum Bob Pancakes YouTube channel? Well, I've got a lot of uh, videos. Two, to be precise. Yeah. And, um... There's another one coming, so I mean, there's three videos of content there. Lots so get going subscribing on. now, so you don't miss out on this yeah. new content that's going to be coming your way. Plus, I'm the next big thing. Yeah. So it's always important to get in the beginning of that. I'm going to be an internet sensation. Yeah. Guaranteed. You're going to be a superstar. Um. You're going so to summarize. Got, well, what's, what's your video that's coming out next? Um. My blind boyfriend makes me in The Sims 4. Yeah. And we're using blind in the sense of not having, not, vision. Not having played no vision. The Sims 4 without vision. Um, so an interesting thing you need to know about me is that I'm completely blind and it's just 100% chance. Charis is not my boyfriend, so this bit <laughs> is weird. Cool. Okay. Um, Vicky. Yeah. What happened? Last time on the letter. Uh, she saw a reflection. It dragged on forever. We spent too much time in a coffee shop. And then it we It was spent... a restaurant. Uh, anyway, was it? Well, they... Was it like a cafe, food. right? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, a she hybrid. saw a reflection and she was like, oh, I need to leave here. But I think now she's saying, no, I shouldn't leave. I think this is... Are we in space? Yes. I've just been playing No Man's Sky. Oh, it does it look like No Man's Sky, doesn't it? Reminiscent. Mm-hmm. I think that we were talking about how we were only here to raise the money for our, the family, but now, having been here, this city is home to her. Right, okay. Let's just confirm that. I'm pretty sure that's right. Look how much it goes on. Yeah, it goes on forever, doesn't it? You're going to have to read lots and lots of description before you find out what the plot was. Oh, I oh didn't... she spoke to that guy who I think Ash. likes her. Ash. He's and a I think detective Ash or something, thinks, right? Yeah. Ash is a detective. And mm -hmm. I think Ash thinks that she knows that he likes her. But she does not know that no, he likes her. she's a bit her. clueless. And um, she's also kind of rude. Very um, rude. Yeah, and I think that he was about to talk about how he likes her. And then she was like, what's going on? And then he thinks that she knows. I don't know. Is this one of those romance? Um, but, you know, I feel like there's... Um... There's definitely romance bubbling under the surface, isn't there? No, but was that a tag for it? You know, I don't know. You do I... like... I love romance. romance. Yeah. <laughs> However, this is home to me. Okay, cool. So, uh, that was the last line of dialogue for that section. <laughs> <laughs> uh, morning dawns bright and, and clear I really the following day. And I really wish tidied her room. Yeah, it's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. Although the air feels still feels muggy and I miss the chilly autumn weather, it's one of those rare weekends when I'm up even before my alarm rings. Yes, that's what happens when you're being haunted. <laughs> if it wasn't for Ash's call last night, I'd probably sleep in. Why? She, did she tell him, her to go to bed? No, she's meeting up with Ash. Oh, that's right. When 9am rolls around, I'm already heading downstairs where Ash is waiting for me in his car. So she does like him because... Oh, hang on. What's happened to you? Why does that mean she likes him? Uh, because she's got up before her alarm because she's so excited to see Ash. No, because that's when she's meeting him at nine instead of having a lie in. Uh, I think I'd read that as that. His hair's a disheveled mess. Well, you're as inept as her then. The eyes drowsy and overall looking like he hurried to get out of bed. Or fell out of it. Or both. She's a laugh riot, isn't she? He looks adorably rumpled this way. Romance alert. But I'm not going to tell him that. It only bloats his unbearable ego. Imagine having these secret thoughts about your friends. Good morning, Ash. They all have secret thoughts, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, to... you have secret thoughts, but secret thoughts that are like, God, this person's a knob. <laughs> and they're like your best friend. Yeah. He makes a motion with his finger around his ear. Tone it down. Yeah. What motion is that? Like... Isn't that, loud. That's, that's like crazy, isn't it? That's like when you say someone is a bit no, got like, a screw loose. Like this. 
Turn it down. Okay. Can you even drive? He answers me with a slight... He can't talk. A slight raise of his hand, a yawn, and nothing more. He has never been particularly fond of mornings, and for that I'm thankful to every god in the universe. Less mental capacity for him to make fun of me. Ha! There's the reason why mornings are my favourite. She always says how he makes fun of her, and so far, he hasn't really done that. No, no. Like, he kind of like a... Um, like the only a flirty way sometimes. But we go in this game is here. This, this um, the office. city, this street in particular. Her noodle it? room. <laughs> and the, the haunted mansion. It may as well be the noodle room. It's not a bedroom or a, or anything else. What is it? A flat? Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't take long for us to reach our destination, the small cafe situated in Luxbourne's busiest street. The same one I'd often visit with Becca for its cheap The food. one we went to last night. Yeah. I'd never gone here on a Sunday, and it's striking how different it appears without the usual weekday and Saturday rush. The atmosphere especially reminds me of something we also have back home, near the university I used to attend. I wonder what happened to it. It was being renovated before I left, so I never got to visit one last time. The place has always been had a calming effect on me. But today, despite standing in a similar place, no, in a place similar to it, anxiety easily washes over me as soon as I step out of the car. I'm quite used to dealing with people I've never met before thanks to my work, but still, I don't know him. What? Ash, what, her friend. What are we talking about? Is that what? Is it because are we meeting somebody? What's the deal here? We don't know Ash, our friend. But, uh, okay. In spite of the fact both Ash and Rebecca have vouched for him, what will he think of me and my story? Who are we going to see? I don't know. Someone about being haunted. So, so, is this Ash has set something up? I can't remember. I can't either, to be frank with you. What if he thinks I'm crazy? Hell, even my own friends oh, Ash thought said so. he'd take someone that might help, and then we had a choice of going with Ash or going with Becca or something. Yeah. Oh, was it... Was it like a medium or something? Maybe. I draw in a breath to quell the panic beginning to rise in it's me. It's difficult to stay um, focused on the story because there's so much fluff. So many details. No, <laughs> not details. It's just, just too complicated, this story. Just lots of fluff. Man, it you spend goes... like 15 years describing what the pavement feels like under your feet. Most of this just goes straight over my head. Um, oh, well, only one way to find out. A few hesitant steps forward and then Ash is suddenly... Ash, Ash is suddenly pulling me back by the... Oh, he is pulling me back by my elbow. Hold on, scaredy cat. Not too fast. There he is being awfully mean to her. Without warning, he flicks my forehead hard. Okay, okay that is a little mean. Weird. Yeah. What was that for? Scaredy cat. Bang! He's already walking away when I look up and I hurry to catch up to him, puzzled. He then gets me in a headlock. I really don't understand this guy. Punches me in the face. <laughs> Trips me over down a flight of stairs. Holds least... me by my neck against a wall. <laughs> At least explain why you're flicking other people's foreheads all of a sudden. What is this is something he he's done before? No. So rude. Like Get yourself together, will you? He's not going to bite. <laughs> he's very accommodating, too. As he, gives, as he gives me a Chinese burn. I wasn't <laughs> scared of him or anything. You don't look like it. Didn't sound like you were okay last night either. That's a sultry voice if I've ever heard. It one. was, wasn't it? Huh? Last night either. <laughs> what was that last one? Hey! Don't just ignore me. <laughs> just zip Why around. would he like her though? She's so whiny. She's quite whiny. All questions and retorts die in my mouth. They Once die he... on my mouth. Die on my mouth. Isn't it in? Yeah, I'd have thought in. I guess that's why I read in. Once he opens the door to the shop. A cast iron bell attached to it chimes softly, announcing our arrival. Like they could have just said the bell clinks as a <laughs> door opens. <laughs> the smell of freshly brewed coffee welcomes us as we, as soon as we step in. It doesn't make the story better. It's descriptive writing, and you've got to respect them for descriptive it. Descriptive writing is great. I am a big reader, an avid reader, but if it's descriptive writing that is completely pointless, it's just frustrating we don't know they could be setting something up about this bell <laughs> like the usual several tables and chairs have been set up for the patrons just the same place we went the other this day is, yeah we're doing the same episode don't worry it's just like uh coffee time part two uh, but most of the customers have forgotten forgotten them 
uh, in favour of the more comfortable throw pillows and beanbags. They should at least change the, the picture. That the staff has laid out the, on the floor, because that's not where they are. Yeah, okay. Becca would love to know uh, they have something like this on Sundays. Becca would love to... Oh, I see, because she's not Becca. Should be that, that they have something yeah. like this on Sundays. She's been complaining how uncomfortable the library chairs are for some uh, for a long time now. Okay. Ash leads me to a secluded spot near... That's my dad. New character alert. It looks just <laughs> like your dad as well. That's kind of creepy. Ash leads me to a secluded spot near the window where an old man, uh, probably in his 50s or 60s, is seated Do we call enjoying a brew and a book. 50-year-olds old men now? I mean... I think that we used to maybe 20 years ago, but I think that not anymore, no? Because, like, he looks like your dad, and your dad's, like, what, 70? Your dad is my, older than my dad most is parents. 73 soon, yeah. Professor Clark. Professor Clark. What's up? I'm no longer your professor, Detective Inspector Frey. Detective <laughs> Inspector? So he's not a private He's a detective. DI. The guy, Andrew, looks up from his book and gives him a smile. A sheepish look crosses Ash's face as the older man's, uh, at the older man's admonishment. More unusual, in my opinion at least, is seeing him appear like a parent has just scolded him. But it suggests a familiar, familiarity, familiarity between them. One that goes beyond that's, uh, what someone expects from a single, simple student and mentor. With another warm smile, he gestures for us to take the empty seats opposite him. Have you been waiting long? Quite some time. But I come here early on weekends. Best time to get their first serving of But we got up at... <laughs> so how long has he been here? It's a, it's a cafe, which I assume opens like half nine-ish. And we've like... Five. <laughs> it's it opens five, five in the morning. Yeah, you get <clears throat> I, I had to break in. Uh... So, what are bear claws? Are they like a pastry? No, it's a bowl of um, claws that people have taken off bears. Well, they declawed them. That's, mm -hmm. that's I took the liberty of ordering for you two. I hope you don't mind. Uh, I thought it'd be best to talk over a decent helping of coffee. Don't like the idea I'm allergic to caffeine, so yeah. thanks. Now I'll die. Soon enough, a waiter brings us two more cups and sets down a basket of pastries. Aren't you going to introduce the lady? Oh, I didn't like that. Ah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Looks kind of creepy. He looks even more like your dad now. Yeah, he does. This is Prof. Andrew. He's one of my professors back at the university. Andrew, this is Isabella Santos. Isabella on a bike. <laughs> Santos. Portuguese. Spanish. Brazilian. Oh my God, he's such a professor. Filipina, actually. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Ah. Uh, your name Why am I meeting you? Santos. Just Andrew is fine. Don't do what Ashton's doing. He doesn't listen to this old man. He doesn't listen to anyone more like. The awkward tension typically pre present in uh, first meetings dissipates after that. I was expecting someone strict and, to an extent, someone severe. But Professor Andrew Clark is definitely the opposite of what I have in mind. The more personable kind similar to a grandfather who dotes on you at a family gathering. So, what do you think his um, major is? It's obvious why Ash hasn't taken a liking to him. Ashton tells me there's something you wish to discuss that I could help with. Is it going to be psychiatry focused or ghost focused? Well, if it's his professor and he's he's like a detective. He's a policeman now with, with faith. Let's hear it then. Let's hear it. I give Ash a hesitant glance, but he just nods and gestures, gestures towards Andrew with his head. He's leaving this to did me. You just say Ed yeah, instead I did. of Ed. Yeah, it's easier. It's my story to tell, after all. I keep it short and concise. I found a letter in this old mansion. Now I'm cursed. That is very concise, <laughs> considering how much she describes everything else around her. Yeah. Exactly as I've told Ash and Zach when they asked about it. I don't mention the name of the place. No use saying it now that someone else legally owns it. No use dragging other people into my problems. I'm sure it's that letter I found. Mm hmm. But I don't know anymore. I just want to know how to escape this nightmare. Of course. We're talking about the one in Anselm Village, aren't we? <gasps> how does he know? Oh. 
Oh, you want to simply escape a nightmare? That's a simple prescription. How did you? <laughs> Don't look so surprised. There's only one place popular enough here if we're going to talk about hauntings. I once had I love the um, resting face of his mouth. It's so funny. Years worth of study, a oh. fascinating. What around? Oh. He had a he, when he was resting. His it was like when it wasn't um, animating. It was like on a really weird smile. I'll see if it comes up again. It's a shame he passed away at such a young age. Smile that looked like your dad. Oh, he there. passed away. Yeah, the house killed him. Hmm. Ashton here might disagree, but it's an interesting topic in sociology. Now. If you care to have an open mind. Right, I did sociology. We did not talk about ghosts and hauntings. Well, you clearly didn't pick up the right. What are they called? Uh, units. Modules. Modules, I guess. Yeah. You're saying you there are just, different modules, and I just happened to miss out on the one You must have over, like, ghosts and hauntings. Paranormal activity module. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Now, now, this isn't a question of belief. No. All I'm saying is things like these speak a lot about a place's culture and history. And it's not just limited to ghosts. Monsters, gods, you name it. Even you, Miss Santos. People are doubting whether you exist. What about me? How you respond to these stories. It tells a lot about you and your upbringing. In the same way it tells me why our detective inspector here finds such topics absurd. Or it could be that he didn't see a ghost. And if he had, he might not act in the same way as I am. Exactly. Really? That, that... That's the one that looks just like your dad? But it's, it's a really funny, unnatural mouth. Yeah, that's what your dad does when he's like... <laughs> Ready, you know, like, come on yeah. now, or when he just meets someone. It looks just like him. My head is starting to spin from all of this. Not in a bad way, by the way, just in case he's watching this. I think he is. We've got a viewer, so it must be my dad. Oh. Hi there. I'm not the smartest person around, but I understand what he's trying to get at, I think. It's still too much to take in at once. I look to Ash for help, but his eyebrows are drawn in a frown. If he keeps staring like that at his cup... I'm pretty sure it'll crack soon. There's still something you're not telling. Didn't I tell Out with you it. everything the other day? Yeah, but you mentioned the rights. Then you proceeded to drop the topic right after. What's with that? They don't have <laughs> anything to do with this. He's so happy. Rights. Luke and Hana Wright? How does he know How do everyone? you know that? Yeah, they're the ones who got the place. He's the ghost. Ah... Uh... I'm not surprised. They're the kind who gets what they want once they set their eyes on it. All right. From what I've heard, word gets around. A heavy sigh escapes my lips. Popular or not, they're just my clients. I'll albeit a bit, a little pushy, but just clients. End of story. I think that the problem is she's extremely unlikable. <laughs> that is. Part of the problem, at least. I know you're trying to help. I wish he'd stop pestering me about them. Yeah, we want to get our relationship with Ash up as much. Uh, Ash up. Yeah, as much there's as going to be a hardcore sex scene, right? Yeah. What is it again that Becca me, does that when dealing with Ash. a particularly difficult child? <laughs> that pesky, annoying kind. I wish I could remember. I could certainly use the same trick around right around now. Ashton, look here. I know you're trying to help, but the deal's almost already closed. The papers are being prepared. Once it's done, it's over. I'm just their agent. Oh yeah, and our friends didn't believe us that the, the case was being closed, did they? Remember? No. And when is that happening? Yeah, all our friends suck. When what? What? <laughs> She's already lost in the conversation. Is there even a purpose to this line of questioning? Your working relationship with them. When's it going to end? Give me it to the hour. A week from now. It depends on how long the approval process would take, but they wanted us to rush in. Okay. Really? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes, really. Unless they want to buy a house again and want me and Rose to be their agent. If yes, then I don't see a problem with it. Now stop annoying me about it. Yeah, Ash. Don't accept it. <laughs> don't accept what? What? Why? It's my job! Don't accept their deal. Their offer. He knows something about them. 
Oh, Lord. Even my younger siblings aren't this difficult well, yeah, to deal with. Well, yeah, we said he knew something about them last time. But yeah. But that's not how it works. You don't just say no. No. I'm not selling this <laughs> other person's house to you. Yeah, it's not like... If, if she owned the house, then fair enough. But she doesn't really have a say in that, does she? Then again, Ash is far from a younger sibling to me. For one, I want to fuck him. <laughs> if he'd only spell it out, surely I'd understand. What, uh, we wouldn't even have to talk about it right now. That's how it is, right? Find an even ground. Talk about it like the adults we are. I feel like she's talking about something else. What do you think she's talking about? Like liking each other, I think. But that's it a does, bit random. It does seem like that, doesn't it? It wasn't like this before. But somewhere along the way, something has changed. As people, as friends. Something Enough. has changed in us. As people, as friends. I wish there's a way I could tell when or why. Instead, I'm left searching blindly for reasons. The next thing we know, we'll be drifting further, further and further apart. How frustrating. Now, now, kids. Settle down. We're not going to solve anything by shouting. Were we shouting, Sorry, then? Andrew. I guess we must have been. Sir Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a knighthood. Speak for yourself. I'm not the only one doing it. God, she's such a brat. Yeah. You'll have to forgive my former student, Miss Santos. He's always been the curious kind. Many people. Think are we supposed to be on her side? The opposite. Um, or are we like? I don't know. Because the way he's responding, it's as if she's like reasonable. Yeah. Whereas I feel like she's Sir a Andrew, real Sir Andrew, he is brat. a sir. Did it say that before? No. Did why not... is he Sir Andrew? He's just though? changed it. He's now Sir Andrew. Okay, cool. <laughs> Please, don't call me Professor. Call me Sir Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> really? How is he back when he was your student? How was he, you mean? How is he? Back when he was your student, how is he? I'm sorry, I need to ask. He doesn't talk much about that. And there's a reason why. Please don't. Mm, what does that imply? <laughs> <laughs> Tried to sleep on the first day of class. Oh, what a, what a nightmare. He didn't repeat it after what I made him do when I caught him. What did you make him do? Seems like him are the easiest to deal with. Once you know what piques their interest. <laughs> okay. Say, he's one of the very few who is actually interested in the subject, though. Ah, but there was this one time when... What subject? I don't know what is happening. <laughs> By the end of the conversation, Ash, Ash looks like he's praying for the ground to swallow him. He's never been one to talk about himself. What I know about him are mostly bits and pieces I've gleaned over the years. He's an atrocious singer, he's bad at art, and he has a personal vendetta against mornings. Now? Now it feels he isn't that hard to figure out after all. They disappear. It's, par it's past noon when Andrew has to leave us for Sir another meeting. Andrew. Yeah, have we not done anything, have we? He's just been like, oh yeah, that's the place where all the hauntings are. See you later. Yeah. Let me tell you about Ash before I go. But before we separate. Uh. Miss Santos, a word of advice. Psychotherapy. That when it comes to cases like this, things aren't always what they seem. <laughs> that's such great advice. <laughs> Naturally, the mansion and the letter was brought up several times during our talk. I described the paper and the ink and the <laughs> smell of everything. And though Ash is right in that Andrew so offers a different perspective, he has left me with more questions than answers instead. How did his colleague die? <laughs> what is she? That's the woman that's wanting her. What does she want from me? Is she ever going to leave? Is she single? They all continue to bug me after we've left the coffee shop. The questions, that is. <laughs> not Ash and Sir Andrew. No. I don't even notice when Ash takes a different turn on our way back, and he's not there anymore. Where are we going? You can drop me off at the park. No, we got to go to the cinema. Guess. You have three chances. I'm Before serious, Before I flick Ash. you again. Where are we going? Why is she such a joy sapper? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not like, oh, where are we going? He doesn't answer, but surely he stops his car in front of a small, nondescript food stall a little ways after the movie house. Away from the movie house. If I wasn't paying closer attention, I would have missed it, without a doubt. It's the same cinema we went to the other day. Yeah, with the same dates on it. He motions for me to stop. 
no, to wait as he gets off the car and walks in its direction. What? What, what does this sentence mean? He motions for me to, to wait, wait as he, as gets, he gets off, off the, the car, car and walks in its, its direction. direction. So he's 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 on top of a car right now. He says wait, and then he jumps off of the car in such a way that he then has to walk towards it. Got no, it. Oh no, he walks in the direction the car's pointing. Okay. Sheesh, if you want to buy something, just say it. No need to make yourself look mysterious <laughs> for jumping on a car and then jumping off and then doing all this crazy stuff. Makes you look more like a dork than cool. Yeah, she's not a very nice person. The wait isn't long, however. What on earth happened then? Soon he's walking back holding two fish-shaped cones in both his hands. Fish-shaped fish -shaped cones? <laughs> I mean, I know that they're going to say, like, they got fish and chips. But, but why are they fish shaped <laughs> in the shape of fish? Why was he on How a car? How would that work? Was he crossing the road? What it meant was he got out the car and walked in the direction that the car was pointing. That's what it meant. Right. It's just horrifically I, oh, written. I thought they were walking this whole time. No. They are in a car. Okay, cool. Ice cream. Parfait. Is that how you say that? A cross of the two. What does that mean? Is it ice cream and parfait? Oh, okay. What is parfait? Um, that <clears throat> that um creamy. It's like um ice cream. It's like stuff. ice cream adjacent, is it? By the time he's back inside the car, I've given up any effort to figure out what he brought. What he bought. Not that it looks bad. It's actually quite cute. Here, take it. <laughs> You're hitting the face. I have to move my head back a little while he thrusts it at me to avoid the ice cream and the fruit toppings it's from ending up on my nose. In a fish cone. <laughs> okay. What's this for? Uh -huh. Oh, it. I like the look of that. I'd eat it, yeah. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> just shut up about those ghosts she and just have just this say, ice cream. Thank you. Five, four, three, two. With a wary glance, I take it off his hands. They've got a really weird relationship. I still don't understand why there's a need for ice cream today. Nevertheless, you mean why there's a need for ice cream? I take a small bite. It's actually pretty good. Oops! It must have shown in my face because he chuckles as soon as I take another one. Saw the place open the other day when we watched Zach's movie. Thought I should give it a try. It doesn't seem like a bad place to get food from time to time. And you're giving me free ice cream because... Do I need to have a reason? Are you really going to ask me that? This is so weird. Why wouldn't you just be like, oh, that's nice of you? Here's the thing with Ashton Frey. She's like a he's child. He's always giving me ice cream. Like, this would only make sense if like, he's doing it all the time. I guess no, it's... no, it's the point is that he never does it. I guess so. He does not just treat anyone to free food, you're right. Because he feels like it. he's that much of a Scrooge. He won't even give people food. Hell, he even asked me to teach him how to haggle once. Haggle! Of all the people who'd asked me that. I'd have expected such, uh, such requests from Becca, but Ash, not at all. If I'm going to be honest, he looks a bit constipated with that expression on his face right now. I think he's starting to regret ever buying this. Well, you are very ungrateful. Uh, the other day? The movie with Zack and Rebecca? Rebecca's there, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, during the movie, we, uh... That There's is, a bit of a Christopher Walken to that, wasn't there? You, During uh, the movie. That wasn't we, a Christopher Walken impression. Uh, shit. Should have written down something first. Get to the point, Ashton. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's clearly like... I don't know. Right. He's looks smitten. I'm sorry. What? Why is she so not, rude? I'm sorry for, you know, not getting to the point. I'm sorry for the other day. I got carried away. I said things that upset you. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, you're forgiven. Oh, okay. Okay? That's all? <laughs> That's all you're going to say. You're not still angry, are you? You didn't have to buy me anything. A simple sorry would have been enough. Yeah. I bite into the cone again, a small attempt to keep myself occupied and relieve the heat crawling up my face. 
it doesn't work, but at least I don't have to look at him. Why I'm feeling embarrassed over an apology, I have no She's idea. such an idiot. <laughs> it's not like it wasn't called for. Well, no, she should apologize to him. She's always so rude. They were being mean, especially him. And, and, in that fraction of a second, it hits me. He skipped his day off just for today. I should be the one apologizing yes. and thanking him. So I was saying... But not, I, I'm not about to, is the next line. Silence is an awkward uh, company while we finish our respective snacks. There are words for this. For people like us. For understandings and sentiments like this. Yet in this instant, they won't come. As promised, he drops me off at the park right after. Phrases unsaid, still hanging heavily in the air. In this weather, the city park gives off a lazier and more languid vibe than usual. Where children are usually seen running around and playing, there are now people lying, leaning back on their picnic blankets, simply enjoying the afternoon sun. This is important detail, Vicky. Yeah. The smell of food drifts from nearby carts, and if the wind blows in the right direction, one would catch the whiff, the whiff of freshly tr trimmed gla uh, grass. <laughs> Maybe I should try walking home today. To get my mind off things. Isn't he still with her? No, he's just dropped her off, it said. Oh, okay. She didn't even and... say sorry or yeah. anything after just, making out that he that should just say sorry. She realised that she should apologise, then didn't and walked through a park to try and find the words somehow. I haven't done that in a while. Thanks, Ash. There oh. we go. But not sorry. No problem. Say hi to Rebecca for me. Yeah, I will. I will. The end. Even so, I linger. We both do. A mild, humid breeze brings the smell of dried leaves, warmed earth, and a far-off, distant memory. Of false starts and awkward first meetings. Same place. Same people, playing the same parts. Funny how of all the days my brain chose to remember it now. Wait, Belle. Ash exit his car, exits his car, his strides are unsteady when he approaches me, or maybe this is his uncertainty showing. I'm not quite sure. He has never looked uncertain to me before. Always calm. Always sure. Always collected. He stops a short distance from me. Close enough that he's within an arm's reach. But just far enough for his voice to be heard over a descent... A de... A de... Oh, that's decent. Not descent. Decent small talk, if this is what it's going to be. He fumbles for something in his pockets. He's proposing. <gasps> it's not really. Catch. Here, can you imagine if that's what it was? It was an engagement ring he <laughs> threw at her. Here, catch. The small bag lands cleanly on my uh, outstretched hands before it hits the ground. Goes through that. I raise an eyebrow at him and he responds by shrugging and stuffing both his hands back to his pockets. Somewhere to the side... He finds an interesting spot to look at. Sometimes, sometimes you have to wait, Papa said long ago. For once this time, I listen. His voice is halting, hesitant when he finds it again. That's something that her father would has told her. Sometimes you have to wait, yeah. yeah. Okay. My mom used to make me carry around one of those when I was young. To ward off evil and bring you luck, she said. I don't believe in this kind of thing now. Right? But <laughs> now but it makes you feel safe. Since you're a total scaredy cat. Then then I guess it's okay to give you one. One of these bags, I mean. Perhaps at the moment uh, there aren't any words for it. You're just terrible. I've never been good with those. With yeah. any words. You're not bad after all. But right now neither of these are good responses. No. Uh, but right now, I could thank him in, in the best way I know how. You're not bad after all, I guess. You can be nice when you're trying. I guess that this is better than this, I think. Yeah, I think so. It kind of mean the same thing, though, right? It depends on where she goes with it. Yeah, like it could be you like... Know, you could be like, you're not bad after all. I thought you were a complete shit face. Yeah. Or you can be nice when you're trying. I just wish you'd do it more often. Like yeah. either could be... Let's go with you're not bad after all. I think it's the same. I close the short distance separating us. Did it go up us. or down? Down. Oh, that's up. Oh. Okay. 
Look how up it is since the beginning. Yeah. We're going to get there, don't worry. I hope he knows that we're DTF. <laughs> we are DTF. Unlikely, in place of phrases one couldn't spin together or answers too early to seek out, I lean over. <gasps> and give him a little peck on the cheek. Oh. The touch is short, fleeting. The kind that speaks volumes of boundaries we don't often cross as friends. Often cross? Isn't that what I said? Yeah, it's just, that's weird. We don't, we don't often, often cross, cross this boundary. That suggests that, that, that because, sometimes they do. Yeah. Oh, I guess so, yeah. It's funny. Nevertheless, the thought is there. It lingers. In the gentle autumn wind that passes. In the empty space separating us when I step back and look up at him and smile. It's easy to express gratefulness this way, isn't it? What, with a kiss instead of words? At least, with my own family that's the case. For the two of us, I'm not quite sure. Did he understand? After all, gratitude is considerably harder to put into words when you've spent the latter half of your friendship teetering between good-natured jests and ruffling each other's feathers. Seconds pass before he clears his throat. His face has gone remarkably red. Whether from the heat or something else, I can't quite tell. Yeah, I wonder what it is. Yeah, but he understands. It could be the heat, I guess. Yeah, it's, <laughs> they did say that it was a bit stuffy in the park. Everyone's yeah. lounging. But he understands. He's just caught the sun. I know he does. Because the smile on him when he finally meets my eye is the gentlest I've seen him show. Just one eye. Yeah. Hey, uh, gotta go. <laughs> it's like... Got some reports I forgot to file the other day. <laughs> Avoiding the other eye. Got a side eye. <clears throat> he could have a lazy eye, I suppose. He could do. Oh, yeah, it's mean it's not really to... been established, that. Make fun. <laughs> See you around. Thanks for the ice cream and the charm. Don't lose it. Both types. <laughs> He won't, won't find, find one, one here again. again. What? In the park. I'm not a total klutz. All right. <laughs> I know. In Bell, remember that one time, Devlin Court. We had sex. That oh. was more than friends. I was Did you realize? You in oh, I do. With all the clarity in the world. You. At the time when we. What I'm trying to say is that you can rely on me if something, anything, happens. To have sex with you again. Not the exact same thing, of course, but you get the idea. I'll be around. I'll just be walking through this park. I'll keep that in mind. You're not that bad after all. Oh, there's the line. That's oh, the that's line what we were we building picked. to? Yeah. They really did, like... <laughs> leave out really a lot walked, of context didn't really they? walked to that didn't they before leaving he waves at me one last time uh, I, I guess that line would have changed to you can be nice when you try to mm. the next time we talk we're back to the way we are because at the end of the day that's how things have always moved between so us. that was just a nothing scene then well it <sighs> means that we warm to the relationship what we're familiar with what we're comfortable with but well, for all that, it's always easy to put my own faith in him. I just hope. I just hope I can keep them safe. Keep him safe. A light wind blows again, sending dried leaves swirling and the distinct smell of earth into the air. For the first time, the sunlight feels less harsh. Maybe a walk is good. I need to visit the grocery too. Come to think of it, wasn't there an art store that opened recently near the park? cat's name is Baruthiel. Or at least that's what his collar says. What, where's the cat come from? I no, just... It's just suddenly appeared. I think she's just found a cat collar. No, she's found a cat in it. It's an odd name to give a cat in my opinion. But it speaks grace much like the one it carries. It shows in the way he swishes his tail and his eyes follow my hands every moment. I'm not sure what he finds fascinating in me to be honest. I wasn't in the very picture of Grace when he found me, after all. It was a bad idea carrying two heavy bags of newly bought art materials and groceries without help 
or a short ride home. In hindsight, perhaps I shouldn't have brought all these uh, at the same time. I didn't even make it past the park. And now I'm suffering underneath the glaring afternoon sun, hunched up on a park bench and drenched in sweat in the company of a cat, curiously watching my every movement. I hope it stays where it is. It's just a black cat. But back at home, they've considered, they're considered ill omens. D don't look at me like that. I can act graceful as well if I want to. She's just obnoxious to everybody. Yeah, just anything that you can be obnoxious to. Not that I've ever acted graceful in my life, of course. Growing up with rowdy uh, younger brothers and a sister does that. Or maybe it's the opposite. Mama used to call me a little trouble troublemaker before. Well, graceful or not, there's no use moping. A short breather and then I'm off home. And that is the end of an episode. So we got through a lovely little scene with Ash. A little nice thing with my dad. And then there's the cat. A full episode flesh of material. Do you think the cat will be a main character now? I hope so. I think we're going to get a new relationship thing for the cat here. Um, but we'll see you in a sec. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Good night. Goodbye. Good night and God bless. And don't forget to check out Plum Bob underscore pancakes on YouTube and watch my vast catalogue of um, content. Thanks. Yeah, do that, but I'm not sure there's an underscore, so try both. Oh, is there a hyphen? No, I don't think so. Plum Bob pancakes. I like that I don't know my own username. <laughs> uh, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, um, love you. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye.